Iowa City Regina is 6-0 and this year thanks to solid play on both sides of the ball and a willingness to dig deep into the playbook as they did last Friday against West Branch. John Campbell explains. Right before halftime, Regina moved the ball to midfield. That's when the call came in from the sideline. They were going to run a special play with a special name. Called it Sprawl. We called it Sprawl. Sprawl. It was basically the old throwback to the quarterback. That meant running back Drew Grieve heaving it to quarterback Kyle Tracy. And it worked. Tracy took it to the house for a regal touchdown. We just try to just have some fun with our kids and get a little creative with some of our some of our plays and trick plays and that's what you know the kids love those sort of plays. Trickery, yes, but also trickery with a twist. Watch it again and watch the offensive lineman. So the ball is snapped, and what do you guys do? We go straight onto the ground. And did that throw off the West Branch team, do you think? I, I think it did, yeah. Yeah, in film, we were watching. All 11 guys ran at me. There, A couple guys were just looking at the line like they were crazy. And then all of a sudden, they're up. They got a wall going, and Kyle's just down the sideline for a 50-yard touchdown. Coach Hinkle, you know, he... He uh, kind of had it up his sleeve. We put it in last week. But assistant coach Ed Hinkle doesn't want to take complete credit for the sprawl call. I would say the best the best coaches are the best thieves. So, we, you know, I, I saw a little version of it somewhere. Um, I'm not going to give my secrets away of where it was. Kind of had a, just a perfect situation to be able to run it um, on Friday with very little downside if, if something went wrong to end the half. So we said, hey, let's give it a shot. And the kids went out and executed it. And uh, what, a, what an awesome way just to end the half and take us into halftime. One more time, the sprawl. It's something opposing teams will have to put in their scouting reports. John Campbell, TV9 Sports. The undefeated Eagles play at Dyersville Beckman Friday night, and I don't 